What's up you guys this is Danny B you're watching the trash stash and uh, I'm gonna be showing part four of the VHS collection it's a hundred degrees out tonight uh, it's pretty miserable and it's 2 a.m. also I just woke up uh, here we go all right first up we get Starship Troopers and uh, I always love this movie. Uh, I used to watch this a lot back in like 97 or 98 when it came out. I actually saw part of it in the theaters, but I walked out because um, the scene where the guy throws the knife uh, in somebody's hand, that kind of freaked me out when I was a kid. So I just kind of like, I went into a different movie, but uh, seen it a bunch of times since then and always loved it. And if, if you don't know what it's about, uh, basically people in outer space are uh, fighting giant bugs. Alright, next up, we got Barbed Wire, the uh, unrated version, it says, kind of. Uh, yeah, you got Pamela Anderson as some kind of, some kind of, like, action star. Uh, you know what? I forget a lot of this movie, but I have seen it. I believe Clint Howard's in this thing, too. But yeah, that's Barbed Wire, Pamela Anderson's movie. <laughs> One of them, I guess. Alright. Next up, we got The Vanishing. And, um... I was a little disappointed to not find the Jeff Bridges version, but this version might be better. I haven't seen either of them. Uh, I this is the, I think this is French. Not really sure, but gotta check it out. It's a kidnapping thriller type of movie. All right, next up we got the Evil Dead, and uh, this is you know Bruce Campbell uh, and his friends go out into the woods. Uh, Necronomicon brings all the deadites, these kind of people, or demons, back to life, and uh, shit goes bad. And I think this is maybe the, like, yeah, this is the Anchor Bay VHS copy. And this was sealed when I found it, too. I found this at Goodwill, and it was like, still had the cellophane on it and stuff. But I wanted to watch it, so I unwrapped it. Alright, next up, we got Body Count, and uh, it's not the Ice-T band. This is with um, John Leguizamo and uh, Forrest Whitaker and a couple other people. I, you know, I, I think I did watch this, but I forget. I think this is some kind of heist movie. Yeah, run with $15. Yeah, heist movie. I kind of forget if it's a good one or not. All right, next up we get Graveyard Shift. And this is a pretty cool vampire movie. This is about a, a cab driver who, I forget if he gets bitten by, by a vampire or he just is a vampire, but pretty cool. Uh, I think it's set in New York, but I think it was filmed up in Canada. Um, yeah, it was cool. Uh, I haven't watched it in a while. All right, next up, we got The Thing, the original version, Howard Hawks. And this is what John Carpenter was obsessed with and why he remade uh, The Thing, plus why he made a bunch of other movies, because he was influenced by this. And uh, I seen it, like, years and years ago. Basically, you know, people are fighting an alien... I forget if they have, like, the whole aspect where they don't know who the thing is or not. I, I don't know if that's just the remake or if it's in this one, too. But, uh, that's the original thing. Alright, next up, we got Dollman. This is a full moon classic. Um, 
I have never seen it, but I knew what it was. It's about a, a cop who gets... I don't know if he goes to another world, but he's only like three feet tall after after something happens to him. And or not even three feet, thirteen inches. That's one foot <laughs> plus an inch. So yeah, he's running around. I, I think he's cussing at people and stuff. Gotta watch it because I know it's a classic. I found this uh, at my video store with a bunch of other full moon VHSs for one buck each. All right, next up we got the deadly scene, Frank Sinatra, and then like kind of like a cop thriller. Uh, you got Joe Spinell in this thing. Um, been a long time since I seen it. Got to rewatch it. it. I think it's it's a little bit like a slasher, but I don't think it's like super violent. I don't know. All right. It's sorry for the yawn and it's it's 3 a.m. over here. All right, next up we got Dean Koontz Whisper, Dean R. Koontz Whispers, and this is some kind of thriller. Look how creepy that is. Um, I gotta watch it. Pick this up. I I love the cover art, the airbrush kind of cover, and never heard of it, but. Looked good. Alright, next up we got The Rage Carry 2. This is part 2 of the Carry series. <laughs> but I don't think Stephen King had anything to do with this one. It's kind of like a late 90s uh, sequel to Carry. Probably kind of in the style of Scream. I have seen this, but it's, I saw it on TV back in like 1999 or something like that. Yeah. Alright, next up we got Out on Bear with Robert Ginty. And uh, Robert Ginty is such an underrated action star. He's He was, you know, known for The Exterminator, but he did a couple other uh, action movies. He was real good. And um, this is, uh, he's a drifter, and he goes to a small town, and the entire sheriff's uh, police department is corrupt. They start fucking with him, and then they have him locked up, but um, he gets out on bail or something, and uh, then he takes them all out after that. <laughs> and you also got um, the guy that played Cheswick in One Flew Over as the Cuckoo's Nest. He's in this as the lawyer, and uh, the guy that plays the sheriff, I forget his name, but the, sh the sheriff gives a great performance, and it, it was no one that was like real like well-known or anything. But yeah, Ginty gives a great performance too. Awesome action movie. Very underrated. If you can find this for like, I would say 10 bucks or something on VHS, pick it up. Alright, next up, we got Savage Streets. This is a, a awesome, sleazy, uh, vigilante revenge kind of movie. Um, you got like, um, these punks rape uh, a deaf girl who's Linda Blair's sister. So then she goes after him with a crossbow. And um, it's a lot of like crazy 80s action. You got an awesome soundtrack, like some kind of uh, hair metal soundtrack or something. And uh, what I like about the VHS is um, they don't muffle the music. I think in the Blu-ray, they kind of like muffle the music a little bit. It sounded kind of weird on, on digital, but on the VHS, you could hear it loud and clear. And uh, this is produced by this guy, Michael. Let me see. Michael Franzesi. Look that guy up. He he was like a infamous New York mobster. And um, he produced this thing. So this is produced by the mafia. Uh, and it's pretty good. They did a good job at it. Alright, next up. We got... Escape from New York on the clamshell. And uh, what's cool about this is... Uh, back in the day... Uh, I saw this first when I was probably like... 
I want to say six or seven years old, and so in the early 90s, and I was calling up every video store back in Chicago, see if they had a copy of this for sale, because it was out of print. You couldn't buy this anywhere. So I was trying to find a used copy for years, and that was before eBay was around, before you can get anything online, before DVDs were out. The only way I thought I would ever get this is if I found a used copy, and I found one. It took about five years or something. My family moved to California. First video store I go in, I'm looking through the used movies, found this copy of Escape from New York after like five years. So I was real happy. And this is that copy. And um, then, you know, <laughs> four, four years later or something like that, eBay is around. You can find this anywhere. They did a ton of reprints, plus DVD came out, and you can get it anywhere on DVD. So, that made things easier. That made it a little bit uh, more safe to mess this copy up if it, if it did. But still, I had to hunt and hunt and hunt to find this one, because it's my favorite action movie. Alright, and last up we got Halloween. Uh, classic John Carpenter movie. Kind of dumb that it says Blockbuster Presents, but still, I guess it's cool at this point. I, I don't, um, looks awesome on the side. I went to my local video store. My video store is out of business now, but I went there trying to find a, a used DVD of Halloween, and I found the used DVD of it, plus they had the VHS. So I found two copies and I didn't know if they were going to have any for sale. So that was a cool day. What's cool about the uh, VHS is um, in the scene where Annie and Lori are in the car, you could hear the song uh, Don't Fear the Reaper. You could hear it really loud on the VHS. On my DVD of it, you can't really hear it. Like they turned the song down because they probably didn't have the rights anymore or something like that. But yeah, that's Halloween. And that's it for the tr for the VHS. Alright you guys, that's going to be it for uh, part 4 of the VHS collection. Alright you guys, hit the subscribe, hit the like button, leave some comments, let me know which of those you've seen, which ones you want to see. Alright you guys, peace out.